So I have a selection of cool online tools and uh, let's, uh, we've got five tonight. So let's run through and see what we've got. So the first one that I have for you is one called oxolo.com. So this one is interesting. There's more and more AI tools uh, coming into uh, the fray uh, recently. I think uh, ever since November uh, 2022, that was when ChatGPT launched itself into the market and AI tools have been around uh, you know before then but that there's really seen the acceleration of online uh, tools so this one here is one for creating uh video or short videos that you may want to use in your uh, social media in maybe uh, ads for let's say facebook ads or google ads and uh, the way that this one works is if you've got a it's an e-commerce store or you've got a course or a program that you're wanting to promote all you do is you grab the URL of the page that has the description of your course, your product, your book, whatever it happens to be, and uh, you pop that into uh, this program here for Oxalo. What Oxalo will do is it will create a video. It'll have a uh, an AI person. Well, it's actually a real person there, but they'll get the lips moving in the right direction, and it will actually grab the words off your page there and it will condense it into something that is a um uh, a script there for the speaker to actually speak and uh, that will create a, a video to promote uh, whatever it is that you're promoting on that uh, particular page you can choose your speaker as well too so they've got a range of presenters so you can choose the, the look and feel and the, and the one that you uh, happen to like in there, maybe one that resonates best uh, with your audience you can choose the backgrounds in there as well too uh, but it is a really good, simple way to create a video uh, using the content that you've already got uh, without having to write a whole new video script. Uh, the other good thing about it too is that once your video is produced, it's not the end. If you want to tweak it and add, add some uh, text to it or you want to remove some text or change it, uh, then you do have the opportunity to do that in this program as well too. And an accent, they're not all American accents either. So if you want an accent, that is maybe sort of uh, a British accent, a US accent. Um, actually, I'm not quite sure how many accents that they, they do have, uh, but you can certainly check out ones that are going to uh, resonate again uh, with the people that you're wanting to uh, communicate with. So this app is uh, called uh, Oxlo. They do have a discount code on it, 25% off for the uh, first three months. Um, it's well worth uh, giving it a go. Uh, on the home screen here, you can actually try it out and uh, see how your script uh, comes through for your particular product or service. So that app is uh, oxolo.com, O-X-O-L-O.com. Now these links uh, to save you squinting at the screen and uh, wondering what these uh, letters are right at the very top, uh, we'll drop these into chat. So, um, and chat, if you're not sure where that is, if you have a look at the of your screen there is a zoom toolbar one of the items on the toolbar or the icons is a speech bubble it says chat below if you click on that that'll open up your chat and in there well you'll see the link is in there already and towards the end of the evening you can save that chat with the three little dots at the bottom of chat actually you can save it now uh, with those three little dots and if and then later on in the evening you can save it it will save it to that same file on your computer and when you do save it the a little notification of where it's saved to on your computer will pop up on screen for about five seconds you don't get long so just click on that that'll take you straight through to the file all right next app i've got for you on that type video theme is one called stream.studio that's s-t-r-e-a-n -N for november.studio and what this uh, app is, is I guess it's an alternative to uh, something like Zoom or StreamYard or any of those uh, live streaming apps for recording podcasts or for recording webinars. It's more geared towards uh, webinars where you don't have the audience on screen. So uh, if, you, if you just want to have yourself focused in on the screen or you and a guest, and you can have up to uh, 10 guests depending on what plan you're on. Uh, then uh, this is a, uh, in fact, it's a really good app for you as well. The uh, the good thing about it is you can live stream it out into a number of channels. 
at the same time. So you're going to live stream it to YouTube, LinkedIn, to Twitch, and you can, and you can use the RTMP service, which allows you to connect to uh, any number of uh, other networks as well too. So you can have the uh, live stream going out uh, simultaneously. It will record as well too, and you can create a, a TV show, a channel here that you can then promote. The other thing about this too is that uh, if you want to monetize your channel by putting uh, advertisements in it, then uh, you can do that on the fly as well too. So uh, you don't have to edit it at the end. You can you can have these pre-prepared and you can drop those in as you go as well too. So it um, it is a very good app. It's, it's all browser-based as well too. And they have a free plan. And so the free plan allows you three uh, participants on screen so you can interview uh, one other or two other people and it has all the normal features like stream sharing as well and allows you to stream to three channels there as well too but they do they do have the uh, watermark on the free one and there are some limitations with it and then the uh, silver plan is uh, 20 dollars a month which is about the same as uh, or just a uh, slightly cheaper than uh, zoom but there you go there's a uh, webinar alternative if you wanted to go and uh, check that one out and that is called stream.studio now for those that want to create email campaigns so we know how important it is to uh, be communicating with your clients and customers uh, regularly particularly if they have signed up for a lead magnet, they bought something from you, uh, or they've connected with you in some way, shape or form. The hottest time that people are most likely to buy from you is when they've just met you, interestingly enough. So, uh, you know, as they've been stalking online, if they watched a video, if they've been to your website, if they've downloaded a lead magnet, in that uh, initial period over, the, uh, over that first month or two months, that is the highest time that they're likely to engage and buy from you. So having a good email sequence for your autoresponders is uh, super important. But I know that a few people struggle with, well, what do I write? What should I put into my emails? Uh, you know, how does the sequence work? I don't want to sound salesy. Um, you know, when should I put an offer in? Uh, when should I just provide content? Well, this app here really helps with all that. So what it will do is it will create a series of emails for you. So uh, you can see on screen that, you know, if you happen to be in uh, real estate, uh, you know, I know we have real estate agents on here, then they've got a sequence there for real estate to agents. Uh, if you've got B2B webinar emails, if you're running webinars, then they have a whole uh, webinar series in there as well. Now, you can change these emails. So really it is a click of a button to, uh, to generate all these emails. And, uh, and you can edit them and make sure that they're perfect. And then you can load them into your CRM or your uh, autoresponder uh, software. So they've got a ton of different email sequences in there. Uh, these are ones that they've tested and tried and ones that uh, tend to get the uh, best uh, response rate. So if you're looking for something, even if it's just for inspiration, then this app here, emailwriter.com, is definitely one to have a look at and to try out as well too. So that one is email writer, so e m a i l w r i t r dot com. All right, next one I've got for you is one of my favourites. It is for those of you that have thought about uh, writing a newsletter. Now I know there are lots of people that think about writing newsletters. I know there are lots of people who start newsletters, and generally the average that a someone you know that's uh, doing a newsletter the average uh, number of editions i have is two so so not many people get past two newsletter editions reason for that is that they can be quite quite time consuming to, uh, to write uh, you need to get the inspiration to write and wonder what are you going to write about and, uh, and and of course other things come up as well which uh, tend to have, uh, take higher priority but uh, interestingly enough newsletters you can monetize newsletters as well people will pay you to write a, a good newsletter so if you have a specialty in a particular area and uh, you 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 want you want to be able to monetize it but you also want a new audience to market it then substack is a fantastic platform for that so if you jump onto substack.com and uh, you can actually browse through some of the newsletters so if you have a look at the 
categories are up here there are a ton of categories you can scroll through to get some ideas some some inspiration for these sorts of uh, you know niche that you're looking for the sort of business that you are and you'll see that uh, there are newsletters here selling for like five dollars a month seven dollars a month thirteen dollars a month so you're not talking about you know a lot of money in terms of what people are spending but you know if you get a hundred subscribers at five dollars a month well then there's five hundred dollars a month uh, if you get a thousand subscribers that's five thousand dollars a month so you know that's not a chump change when it comes to that but it can add another revenue stream to, to your new business the other the other benefit of this too is that substack is a place that uh, that has got a wide readership so it's almost like a magazine rack an online magazine rack and people will come along here and they may not find your website but they may they may be regular subscribers or regular visitors to substack and so it's a great place to do your marketing and get paid for your marketing as well too so obviously when you're writing your newsletter so whether it's once a week or once a month uh, you do need to set aside some time to do it uh, but there are some processes to really help you uh, you know write uh, a newsletter um, you know quite easily uh, but it's a way of developing a new audience as well too so so you, you get people that will come to substack you write on your topic and to find out more you might have a course a program a book uh, some other ways to engage with you obviously you, you can have those links in there in your substack newsletter and have people come out uh to to visit you either on i don't know linkedin so you can have them come and you know follow you on linkedin or in facebook uh you can invite them to your website you can um provide them with additional information by way of uh, an ebook a uh, mini course on your website or on a, uh, another platform that you might have like Kajabi or Thinkrific or whatever. So there's any number of options you can do, do with it. So, um, so don't think about it just as a task, but think about it as a, uh, as a great marketing vehicle where you actually get paid to do your uh, marketing as well. So it just requires a bit of thinking about content. If you do want to, uh, some, some help with that content, uh, you know, we did, well, I did run a program here a while back called, and you'll probably find that in our YouTube channel, um, how to create uh, 12 months worth of content in 60 minutes or less, you can use that as a structure for your Substack uh, newsletter. So that's an easy way to start to bring your content together. So that there is Substack.com. And the very last app for you tonight <coughs> is one of my favorites, and that is the CRM that I use. It's one called Drip.com. And they've recently expanded the market that they that they work with. They were originally set up as an e-commerce CRM platform and written in the, in the same code as uh, Shopify. Not that that probably means a lot to uh, anyone, but but it really was designed for e-commerce stores. But the functionality for e-commerce is exactly the same as the functionality that's needed for anyone that has a service-based business. So, and you'll find that the workflows, the segmentation in there were absolutely fabulous for that as well too. And so Drip has embraced that also, and they are specialists in both, uh, you know, some physical or well, online e-stores and also service-based businesses and experiences as well too. So if you, if you do, uh, you know, and a lot of us here are, you know, you know do have services, Drip is a absolutely fantastic CRM for it. I haven't found one better um apart from some of the higher end uh, more expensive ones uh, but for the price of this it's very well priced uh, it's a newer crm on the market in, in the sense that you know it's, i think it's been around for five six seven years compared to some of the older players but what that means is is the technology that it's built on is some of the newer technology so you, you don't have the clunkiness that some of those older crms have um and it's very nimble very agile to uh, to use as well too so it is my favorite I, I really do like it and um uh, if you do want to check it out they do have a free trial for a couple of weeks if you want to jump in there and have a look at if you do have drip as well too and uh, you want some help with it obviously we can help with that as well too because I have been in there for a number of years and I still haven't found anything that uh, beats you know drip hands down and I've been in uh, quite a few CRMs and helped uh, people with those CRMs excellent so that there is a roundup of our cool online tools for today so I'd love you to drop into chat there your vote for the the one tool there that you think is 
the one that might take you down that rabbit hole that you may not escape from tomorrow. So just drop it in. Let's see which one was the one that you think will work for you. And uh, I will just mute myself, have a little coughing fit, and then I'll come back to you. Excellent. So I've got a couple of votes there for Oxlo. So that uh, video platform, Substack, email writer, email writer, email writer. Oh, it looks like email writer. And, oh, and Oxlo, email writer and that Oxlo one. Uh, sort of a head on head there. All right. So we'll, we'll drop the apps and tools. We we'll always publish these up on YouTube, in LinkedIn, uh, in, and in the Business Owners Smashing It Online Facebook page. Uh, if you're not a member of that, uh, now's a good time to go over there. Go and search for Business Owners Smashing It Online and uh, join the, the group there. And of course, we uh, publish these apps and tools there. If you do have a, uh, an app or a tool that you'd like to share with us or you'd like to have featured on this program, uh, I know that Jeff Veal, who's with us, is a great contributor to me, helping me with some of those apps and tools. So thanks, Jeff. I shared them over my way, and I'm more than happy to have a look at them. And of course, you're helping me because uh, it uh, does take some time to really sort of check out some of the latest tools and uh, resources that are out there.